Make your own Chinese shoe patch or bobbins for only two cents each. I needed more bobbins for my Chinese patch or shoe machine. So I made some. I 3D printed these. I also made some in the red, transparent. And these fit very nicely into the bobbin carrier. When you make these, you have to make sure they're not too high. Um, these are made on an SLA printer. You cannot make these on an FDM printer because you just can't get these nice clean walls here. So make sure you have an SLA printer and you can print them in any color you want. And you also, when you first make these, you have to make sure that they're gonna not be too tight in the case. You want them to be able to move around a little bit so that this way they can spin freely. These cost about a penny a piece or maybe two pennies a piece to make. And uh, they turn out very, very nicely. I kind of like the red ones. Now, on my Bowen carriers, I did polish these extensively. When you first get them, they look pretty rough. The castings are very, very rough. And uh, you have to really smooth them out to get the thread to sew well. What happens if you're having a lot of thread breakage, then probably the rough edges on the bobbin carrier is the cause of your thread being broken. Um, this will cut the thread or fray it and uh, it'll break it very easily. So you have to make sure you clean them up really well. And they'll look nice and clean like this. I, I wire brush them on the inside. I use a Dremel tool. And for the outside, I use a, a three inch Harbor Freight grinder that has a, 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 one of those Scotch Bright type of pads on one side. It's a three inch grinder, uh, bench grinder and uh, it'll make this all nice and smooth and even so now this one must have been made on a day when quality control was absent because uh, it looks it looks kind of rough so the one on the left looks a lot better but this one looks kind of crappy quality even though i polished it it still looks kind of rough but it's the same size and uh, as long as it's all smoothed out afterwards it'll it'll work it'll work then just pair it with your bobbins and you'll be you'll be fine so if you have an SLA printer just go on Tinkercad make a design and uh, there you go, you can make all the bobbins you want. Thanks for watching. You need a resin printer to make these. Uh, you cannot use a FDM printer. This is my Voxelab printer. This is a FDM printer, it uses filaments and you cannot use these to make bobbins.